Hi y'all, I'm Allie and welcome to my kitchen. Yes, this is where I cook every day. Today we're going to make a recipe that's part of my Skinny Girl series. We've done Skinny Girl Chicken, we've done Skinny Girl Tuna, and those are both at my website. And today we're gonna do an amazing Skinny Girl pork. You are going to love it. Wait till you see what we do with it. We've got some olive oil, we've got some spice mixture and salt and pepper, goat cheese, we've got fresh greens that are chopped up, we've got two boneless thick pork chops, a little bit of extra salt and pepper, and some cooking twine if we need it. And uh, so that's what we're gonna have. Now, I'm gonna serve it up with something different. It's really not part of the recipe, it's just what I would serve it up with. You can serve it with whatever you want. But uh, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is put the greens in a small bowl because what we're going to uh, have is a stuffing mixture to go inside the pork chops. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna slice these and stuff them and uh, cook them. But anyway, you can get any kind of greens you want. I like the mixed greens. I like to have arugula, spinach, European greens, and then you just chop them up just like you see here. We've got some goat cheese, so we're gonna put this in. And we've got our spice mixture, and you can see which spices I used at the website, alliskitchen.com, so we're gonna put that in. And then the next thing is we have olive oil, and we're gonna use just about half of it. Okay, you see I'm just taking a wooden spoon and making this into a paste mixture, and um, just blending in the goat cheese. This is much healthier than stuffing it with a dressing. Oh, you don't wanna do that, then it wouldn't be skinny girl. Okay, you see how it looks? Really nice, it's all incorporated and all blended in. I'm telling you, that jalapeno herb mixture just gives this pork chop and the stuffing a kick that you are just going to love. It's not too hot, it's not too spicy, but it's just enough to make you go, ooh, wow, I want the next bite. You got to have a really sharp knife. It can be smaller than this, but I like this knife. It, it, it fits my hand well. So I'm gonna use it, and we're just going to make a pocket. We're gonna gently cut into it. I've done one already, but I'm gonna show you the second one. And see how I've just cut into that pork chop and made a pocket? That's where the stuffing is gonna go. Okay, so let's take this one, and you want the inside of the pork chop not the outside. Now I'm not going all the way out to the edge and I'm not going all the way through the center. Make sure that knife is super sharp and just hold it, lean it up against your other hand. Since I'm right-handed, it's leaned against my left hand. And there we go. Okay, see? We have a nice pocket that's going to be stuffed. And if you see that you need to cut a little bit more, then go ahead and do it but you don't wanna go all the way through. All right, are you ready to stuff these pork chops? We're gonna take some of our mixture and we're just gonna push it in with our hands and stuff it in there. There's plenty for two pork chops. You might even be able to get three pork chops out of this. And then we're just going to kind of scooch it together, scooch it together just like this and what you have is a beautifully stuffed pork chop. If you want to use the cooking twine, and make sure it's cooking twine, you can get this at any cooking store or at a big box like Walmart, then just cut off a little string of it, and as you're cooking it, some of the filling may ooze out. That's okay, We're, we'll, we'll keep that, but just wrap the cooking twine around and then just tie a little knot with it, like this, and you've got it together. And then once it's cooked and uh, uh, done, we'll snip that off. But you can use the cooking twine if you wanna just make sure that it does stay together even more securely. This is a skillet that I absolutely love. It's a carbon steel cast iron skillet, and you can see that it has a more shallow rim around it. It, it kind of 
uh, fans out. That makes it easier for flipping and turning the pork chops or whatever you're cooking in here. And I use this, I will cook, oh, eight or 10 eggs in it. It just cooks so evenly and it's called carbon steel. So I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna get it really hot. We're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on those pork chops and we're gonna start pan searing in this cast iron skillet. Now while that skillet's getting hot over here on the blaze, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on each side of the pork chop. The reason I'm letting the skillet get hot is I don't want my olive oil to burn. So I'm gonna get the skillet hot and then we'll put these pork chops in. So let's put a little bit of salt and pepper on the pork chops and you've seen them so I don't need to show them to you again, do I? But I will if you wanna see them. Oh, they're gonna be even more beautiful. Wow, look at these. Yeah, see the stuffing in there. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm. Wait till you see what we're gonna eat it with. We want it to be really hot because we wanna hear a pan sear. We wanna hear that sizzle. That means something good's happening. You hear that? That's what you wanna hear. Now, we're gonna let that pan sear on each side about two minutes and then we're going to cover it with a lid and just turn down the heat and let them cook a little while. Okay, I wanna show you what they look like. They've pan seared about two, two and a half minutes on each side, and I use two spatulas in order to uh, securely flip. And you can see some of the filling is just oozing, but it's not really coming out. And these have been pan seared on both sides. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put them back on the blaze and cover them with the lid and let them cook all the way through. There you go. That's about as beautiful as it gets. Oh, if you could smell it, yum, yum. Our pork chops are ready and we're going to remove the lid and just put it to the side. And you can see that some of the filling, the stuffing has oozed out, but that's okay because we're going to just use it and put it right back on the plate. So let's look at one of these pork chops. And again, you might wanna use two spatulas. Oh man, that really looks good. Okay, let's plate it up. A perfectly delicious meal that you can cook in less than 30 minutes, skinny girl stuffed pork chops. Do not forget to snip off the cooking twine. Use kitchen shears to snip it off, but it's on a bed of mint peas and grapes, and this is gonna taste so delicious on this pork chop, and I'll just put that little mint leaf right there. This is the most fun part of this cooking video is getting to taste it with you. So I've cut a slice of the pork chop off and I've got some of the filling. Are you ready? I don't have to say anything. Just watch my facial expressions. Oh, oh, mm. That is so delicious. That filling I could eat by itself. In fact, I do think I'll take a bite with just a few of the peas. Mmm. Oh, man. You're going to want to make this skinny girl stuffed pork chop. I'll see you next time on the next Real Cooking with Allie in Allie's Kitchen. If you're not familiar with my website, it's allieskitchen.com. Now, if you're watching this, please tell me where you're from and uh, what you want me to to make maybe in the next video because I make these real cooking videos. These are reality cooking videos. Usually one take with just me and my Samsung camera.